Hey, what is going on guys? So I got a really nice wireless car charger for a review here. Uh, this one here is by Taurus and max wattage is 10 watts here. So if you have a phone that's uh, capable of fast charging, you'll be able to fast charge. Now, right off the bat, one of the things that I like about this that 95% of the other wireless cartridges don't have is when it is unplugged, you're not able to open and close it. However, this one here, you still have a little bit of juice left where you're still able to open and close it. And this is pretty important because a lot of times what's gonna happen is you're gonna be driving, then you shut your car off, then you wanna pull your phone out, and then you realize you can't pull your phone out, then you gotta start your car again, then pull the phone out, then turn it off. Again, this one here, you always have a little bit of extra battery juice in here, okay? So looking at the actual wireless charger here, you have two buttons here on the side. If you push any one of these, it's gonna open. So you can press both at the same time. You can press this one here or this one here. Uh, in order for it to close, when the phone is flat on here, it presses against this lightly, it'll automatically lock. Below the footrest here, that's where the uh, micro USB charging port is. You also have a footrest down here as well. And you can see what the back here looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to my car uh, shortly and I'll go ahead and um, charge all the phones I have up here, some of them have like a really thick case, medium sized case. One of them has the um, OtterBox commuter case, which is like double layered. Anyways, right out of the box, you get the wireless um, charger itself right here. And they give you two power cords here. Now this is a USB-A to a micro USB. Okay, and it's two lengths. Basically they did that is because if, if you want the shorter wire, wire, if you have a USB ports or a cigarette lighter adapter up close, use a shorter one. Or some of you guys may not have nothing up front. It may be in your center console. So you need to use the longer wire, the longer uh, cable here to go a little bit longer back. It just gives you more slack. Also, they provide you with a cigarette adapter here. This is a Qualcomm 3.0, it's dual. Top one here is, is fast charge here. And of course, you get the uh, suction cup mount here, so you can stick this onto your dashboard or your windshield, and you get one for the vents that you can stick onto your vent. And this one here is one of these like twisty ones. You just put it into your vent. You can go ahead and twist. It doesn't matter if you have a vent that's like horizontal or vertical, this will work as well. So you can tighten that up, loosen that, and I'll show you the suction cup mount here. So this one's pretty cool as well. So this one here, you can go ahead and turn it over like this you can put it onto your dashboard just like this and you have an extender here for the arm you can loosen that up extend the arm if your phone's far back in the dash or you can raise it all the way up like this and you can do it this way too put it on your dash you want it on your windshield you just go upside down like this or you can go this way as well and the suction cup here basically how you lock it this is unlocked position press it down flat, and then you just wanna go ahead and twist it like that. Now, another thing that, that they provide to you that's quite important is this um, pad right here. And what this pad is for is, I mean, typically, I mean, if you have like a smooth dashboard, you can use it like this, no problem, just, just naked. it. But the thing is, if you have a dashboard that's medium coarse or like really rough, like I've seen a lot of trucks, the, uh, the dashboard's really coarse, or a lot of BMWs, it's coarse. If you just use it like this, without this, it's, it's probably gonna last like maybe three days, maybe a week tops, and it's gonna keep falling off, especially when you have your phone and stuff in there. So this is quite important. Uh, like I said, especially if you have like a rough, uh, rough or coarse like dashboard, it's not like so smooth. You wanna go ahead and use a three-hem adhesive, and then use this on top of there, and of course it's gonna last a lot longer. And I'll show you how to uh, put this together. So you can put this, of course, you can put this on the uh, suction cup mount, or you can put it on the vent here. I'm gonna go in my car, I'll be using my vents. So you can just like lay the nut right on top and go ahead and get the ball on here. And you wanna go ahead and just push in, just like that. Then you wanna go ahead and lock it in place. So when you have it like locked in place, of course, you're gonna be able to do like a 360 swivel here and you can, move it around like this as well. Well, let's go ahead and take this to my car. I'm gonna bring this uh, wireless charger just like this, stick it on my vent. I'm also gonna be using the uh, cigarette lighter adapter and I'll use one of the cables and I'll bring all these phones and we'll see if they charge. Okay, so I just hooked up the uh, wireless charger to my vent. As you can see here, let me go ahead and grab my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 here. This is a big phone here. So let me go ahead and open this up. Let me go ahead and drop this in here. 
and then you have to kind of push back a little bit it's going to lock automatically and i want you to see this as well you can see that is fast charging wirelessly another thing i forgot to mention too is when you turn your car off you're going to hear a beep just a warning so that you know you have your phone in there so you got to take it out my car is off now and i'm still like i mentioned earlier you're still be you're still able to uh lock it or pull it out and put it back on as well okay i'm going to start my car back up and we're going to put some more phones on here all right so let me go ahead and pull this one off here's a iphone 11 just go ahead and pop that on there we can see that it's charging let's pull this one off let's try another phone how about a iphone pro max it's a bigger phone here let's go ahead and pop that on here you can see that it's charging let's grab another phone here how about an iphone 8 an iphone 8 with an otter box case this is a um, double layer this is a really thick case here so let me pull this one off we're gonna pop this one on here no problemo let's go ahead and grab another phone here how about a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? Another big phone here. This one also has a case on here as well. Let's go ahead and pop that on there. And this will turn to fast charging. You can see it says fast charging wirelessly. Let's go ahead and pull this one off. How about a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus? One of the largest uh, Samsung phones that they have. Let's pop this in here. And you can see it changes to fast charging wirelessly. So let's go ahead and take a little cruise here. And of course, even with the phone in here, you're still able to swivel it as well, okay? All right, that was a quick little trip around the block. And remember, if I shut my car off, you can hear that buzzer warning you, you have your phone in here. My car is off, I'm still able to take my phone on. Take my phone off. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. All right.